Why are you here? Stannis Baratheon garrisoned at Castle Black before he marched on Winterfell and was killed. He showed me the letter you wrote to him when he petitioned for men. It said... I remember what it said. Bear Island knows no king but the king of the north, whose name is Stark. Rob is gone, but House Stark is not, and it needs your support now more than ever. I've come with my sister to ask for House Mormont's allegiance. You don't just want my allegiance, you want my fighting men. Ramsay Bolton cannot be allowed to keep Winterfell, my lady. It is our duty to stop him, even more so because he holds our brother Rickon Stark as prisoner. What you have to understand, my lady, is that... I understand that I'm responsible for Bear Island and all who live here. So why should I sacrifice one more moment life for someone else's war? If it please, my lady, I understand how you feel. I don't know you, sir. Davos, my lady of House Seaworth. You needn't ask your maester about my house. It's rather new. All right, sir, Davos of House Seaworth. How is it you understand how I feel? You never thought you'd find yourself in your position being responsible for so many lives at such a young age. I never thought I'd be in my position. I was a crabber's son, then I was a smuggler, and now I find myself addressing the lady of a great house in time of war. But I'm here because this isn't someone else's war. It's our war. Go on, Sir Davos. As long as the Boltons hold Winterfell, the North is divided and the divided North won't stand a chance against the Night King. You want to protect your people, my lady, I understand. But there's no hiding from this. We have to fight, and we need to do it together. House Mormont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. Thank you, my lady. How many fighting men can we expect? Sixty-two. Sixty-two. We are not a large house, we're a proud one. And every man from Bear Island fights for the strength of ten mainlanders. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Mandley. But you refused the call. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover. But in their hour of greatest need, you refused the call. And you, Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refused the call. But House Mormont remembers. The North remembers. We know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. We can't defend the North if only half the population is fight. You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Indeed you are, my lady. No one is quite... And I don't need the... your permission to defend the north. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy and girl on Bear Island. Three dragons. Tyrion has invited me to Dragonstone to meet with Daenerys. And I'm going to accept. Have you forgotten what happened to our grandfather? The Mad King invited him to King's Landing and roasted him alive. I know that. She is here to reclaim the Iron Throne and the Seven Kingdoms. The North is one of those Seven Kingdoms. This isn't an invitation, it's a trap. It could be. But I don't believe Tyrion would do that. You know him. He's a good man. Winter is here, Your Grace. We need the King in the North in the North. Ah. <laughs> Protect the gate! <laughs> 